Okay, so we're looking at correcting or improving the structure of scoliosis. So as you can see on this skeleton, the spine is relatively neutral. And we've got the spinous processes and the transverse processes and the facet joints all evenly spaced. Now I've drawn on the body here and I'm looking at the curve as it comes out to the left. Then as it gets right way down to T12 and downwards, it starts to go a little bit towards the right. So what I want to do is improve the structure and structures around the T-spine and around the lumbar and working recognition with the body. So when we're looking at the curve here, we've got space here on the left side and the compressions on the right. So I want to look about creating space down this right side. Also, because we've got compression here on this side, I would think the rotation is going that way. So I'm going to try and get the client to rotate the opposite way to where the curve is. So the left hand is against the wall, and by putting the left hand against the wall, we've got more serratus anterior connection, and the right hand is going to go over and back about 10 to 12 times. And I've put a weight in the hand to try and create space. Off you go, David. So this is just a gentle thing as we're opening forwards and backwards. And the dynamic movement helps to keep the oscillation of pumping throughout the tissues. And also we're thinking about creating space on the right here where the compression is. Keep going, about five more. And you can see that's opening beautifully as he side bends over to the left side. A few more. Now about opening the underneath side of the body and I put the barrel underneath to create some passive pressure. All I want David to do is just relax with his head onto the pillow and he's just going to take some deep breaths there. And as he's inhaling, it's expanding this diaphragmatic breath on both sides of the rib cage. But because of the angle of the barrel, it's helping to create more space. We've also got the Cadillac here giving a little bit of traction across the shoulder joint and across the back. Now I'm going to add a little bit of lateral flexion and as I laterally flex up, I've got that feeling of opening underneath. So I'm lifting to go up and slowly going back down. About five or six more. That's safe to good. So I'm now taking the client through a series of movements uh, to assess what their scoliosis is doing where the curves is, where the strengths are, and where the weaknesses are. As you can see, we're doing the bow and arrow, and we're focusing on transverse rotation. I've now got the client on the stability chair, and we're doing hip hike. Remember, with scoliosis, the curves are compressed, and we're trying to build space in and around the joint. I assess before we guess, and I take the clients on both sides. You can see what happens with the client as the hip hikes up and down. We're trying to maintain the body as close to neutral as possible, but the hips do want to flex as a compensatory pattern. I've now got the client on the gyrotonic pulley tower, and we're working in hip flexion and hip extension. As we go forwards, the added movement of the shoulder going into shoulder flexion and then shoulder extension helps to fire the lats, which in turn goes into the glutes, powered down through the hamstrings, into the calves, and pressing down through the floor. Again, any weaknesses when we go into single arm can be seen straight away and we can work on. The scoliosis program is always best done one-to-one. -one. Remember, everybody is different and everybody's scoliosis is one-to-one. -one. For you to really see results, we do recommend a minimum of one hour out of 168 hours in a week. As well as that, you have to think of the six basic principles, looking at breathing, hydration, nutrition, sleep, stress. And my final assessment is tried at four here. And again, I'm looking to see how close the arms are to the floor, and again, looking in compression in the spine. So that is all your assessments for scoliosis or some of them that we do on our studios. If you're interested, do get in touch.